Huh. You have to train this out of you if you wish to live the life that you're wanting to live. You must train your discipline when it comes to your focus. You have to. You are creating life with your focus, literally. Every time you focus on that irritation, every time you focus on that anger, every time you focus on the world around you, you are creating more of the same. You stick yourself in a reality loop. 99% of the world is doing this. And this is why it's important that you control your focus and you become disciplined with your focus. Listen, man, I'm going to give some tough love to you. Tough love. You have to be able to visualize what you want, even when you're raging. When you're so angry, you want to punch a wall. You have to be able to visualize what you want. You have to still, in that moment, feel like the reality that you want. And if you don't, then you are back to the old programming. You are not getting any closer to your dreams. And I'm sorry to say that, but it's true. So no matter what is going on around you, you have to remain disciplined with your focus. We're so lazy when it comes to our focus. The outside world controls our focus for 99% of the world. And that's why 99% of the world is what, you know, where they don't want to be. The 1% of the world is controlling their focus. For good or for bad, it doesn't matter. They still have what they want. And if you want what you want, you have to learn to ignore what's going on around you. Ignore the raging, that tingling raging of, of wanting to hit things when you're angry. Or that sinking feeling sadness when you're sad. You have to be able to visualize what you want in those moments and you have to be able to take action in those moments, the opposite of what you're feeling sometimes. If someone comes up to you and says something that you don't like, and your first reaction is to defend yourself, to get angry, to prove your point, you have to do the opposite. You have to keep your mouth shut if you have to. Set your boundaries internally. Make sure people know your boundaries, but do not react to that anger. Do not react to that anger feel it and it's hard oh it's hard sometimes some people just crawl under your skin <laughs> but you have to be calm you have to train yourself to be calm in those situations it's just the only way around it my friend and when you're sad and life is slowing down and you feel doubt and you're not where you want to be and Everything just seems like it's going slow and you have a sinking feeling and, and all that doubt. You have to be able to think about what you want and you cannot react to that feeling. Some of you might be wondering, what do you mean react? I mean, you have to feel that feeling of anger, that feeling of sadness. But you cannot attach to the thoughts that are creating that. You have to... Focus on what you want instead. And if you can't focus on what you want instead, you need to just be still. And this is where meditation comes into play. And meditation doesn't mean you have to sit there cross-legged and, you know, do a mantra or anything like that. Meditating is just focusing on what you choose to focus on deliberately, one thing at a time. So the more you do that, the more you'll be in control of your thoughts. I want you to get to the point where you get so angry, just for a second. Just imagine that someone came over and just said the worst thing they can say to you, that you just feel rage, like you're on fire. We've all been there. And in that moment, I want you to be still. Let your body twitch in anger. Let your adrenaline pump in anger. But just focus on one thing, on the wall, on your hands, and do not react. And if you do, that's fine too. But just next time, try not to react. And the same thing with sadness. When you're feeling sad and you're feeling upset and 
the first thing you want to do is be sad and think sad thoughts and feel that sinking feeling. Let your body cry, but do not attach to any thought. Do not replay what made you sad over and over and over again. That'll just keep creating it. It's a loop. Your reality will begin to change as soon as you do this. It'll take a few times, but you'll notice like, wow, I'm not angry anymore. Like, wow, I'm not as sad as I used to be anymore because you changed your inner world, which allowed your outer world to change as well. And that's why it's very important to master and be disciplined of your thoughts. And that will create the reality that you are trying to create. So like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, and comment down below your thoughts and how you feel. Thanks.